I'm Jessica Sowers, owner of Body Bliss Connection. I'm Jamie Marich. I'm a clinical trauma specialist, expressive arts therapist, author, and co-founder of Yoga Unchained. I am also the co-founder of Yoga Unchained. Jamie, let's talk about seated forward folds. Sure. All right. So the first seated forward fold we're going to come into is as if we just completed our Dandasana or our seated pike. seated pike posture. So if you've not yet watched our seated pike video, we would recommend you watch that first before trying out this one. Yes, I agree. So I want to mention here that we also did our, our for standing forward fold video, and this is an option to a standing forward fold, a seated forward fold. So um, Jamie is in her Dandasana posture or seated pike pose. On an inhale, she'll sweep her arms up nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears, activate through the belly, exhale, draw the belly in as you forward fold, and reach long for the toes. Take a nice deep breath in and let the hands rest onto the legs or the floor, wherever they wanna go. If you reach your toes, that's fantastic but know that you don't have to. Those hands can rest on the shins, the knees, the thighs, or wherever else they wanna go. Guide the belly in to help support and protect the spine and lengthen by pressing the collarbone forward just a bit. Let's take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, draw the belly in and roll the spine all the way up to a seated position. So this is one option for a seated forward fold. There are many mm -hmm. options. Yeah, so let's go to option two. Yeah, option two is the wide-legged forward fold. So this can create a little extra space for the body for some individuals, in particularly me. When I do a forward fold with my legs in nice in alignment with the hips, I can feel a little claustrophobic. It puts a little too much pressure on my abdomen and into my chest and it makes it feel as if I can't breathe freely. So an option for us in that instance is to widen the stance of the legs. We're going to again sit up nice and tall, inhale, sweep those arms up, pull the belly in and on the exhale forward fold, reaching as far out as possible, hinging from the hips. Let the hands come down wherever they would like to go and surrender the head down. Find a nice deep inhale and exhale here. And typically you'll hold for just a few rounds of breath and let the body start to settle in. Being mindful not to hold for too long. On our next exhale, let's guide the belly in and roll the spine all the way up. <sighs> And keeping the theme of Yoga Unchained, which is trauma-informed trauma yoga, trauma-focused yoga, we want to take our left leg, we'll bend that knee out to the side and draw the heel in towards our bottom. The sole of that left foot can come anywhere onto the right leg. It can tuck high up onto the inner thigh. It can come down towards the knee or the shin, wherever feels comfortable in your body. And a major reason for this variation on forward fold is many people find the anatomy exposed here to be a vulnerability point. And I also find this check mark variation. The Sanskrit is John Eustace Sasana, but my clients kind of know this as check mark pose. Mm -hmm. This, in my experience and in a lot of my clients' experiences, can feel a little less threatening. Yes. Because the legs out like this, it's like, oh, my legs aren't split. Like, it's not about getting a dancer split. Right. However, yeah doing it one side at a time may feel a little better. Yes. So we'll inhale and sweep the arms up. This time we'll rotate towards the long leg and exhale forward fold over that long leg. The arms are gonna stretch and reach as far as they can. And again, invite them to come down and connect with the floor or any part of the leg that feels comfortable. And then we invite the back of the neck to soften and release the head, surrendering into this posture. You can stay for several breaths. But for us, on our next exhale, we'll pull the belly in and roll the spine all the way up to seated position. And what we do on one side, we always at least attempt on the other side. So we'll switch the direction of the check mark, find our nice seated position grounding through those hips. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Rotate towards the long leg and exhale, forward fold. 
letting the hands rest, the back of the head surrender, taking deep inhales and exhales. And on the next exhale, we guide the belly in and roll the spine all the way up. And I would like to just simply draw attention to Jamie's um, forward folds in these two positions. When she had the right leg extended, her hands rested on her shin. Hmm. But when she had her left leg extended, her left arm was able to reach the toes. Hmm. Knowing that each side of the body is different, and that's a perfectly normal thing. As it is nothing to shame yourself about. Yes. So not trying to judge on any way, but just making note that each side of our body is different and every single day our body is different. Yeah. So forward folding, for those of you who have knowledge of yoga, can be incredibly beneficial um, if you struggle with sleep, mm -hmm. if you struggle with anxiety, and we, we emphasize it could be. We don't want to make a guarantee or anything like that, because a lot of times it takes the consistent build of the practice to really experience the benefit, and a lot of it is finding the variation that's going to serve you. It may be the standing forward fold from our other video, one of these variations of forward fold we showed you here. Right. Forward folds. Forward folds. Thank you.